My name's Aaron Massey from MrFixItDIY.com, and the team at Cub Cadet sent me their all new electric CC30E lawnmower to put to the test, so let's go have some fun. If you followed along with the channel for a while, you'll likely recognize that that wasn't my yard I was cutting, it was actually my brother's house. I don't have much of a yard for a riding mower at this point, and so I wanted to really see what this mower was capable of, given a larger yard. After testing out the mower, I've got to say that I'm pretty impressed with it overall, and very impressed with the longevity of the battery life. I've never used an all-electric mower before, so I was pretty skeptical on what it could do, this yard is just over an acre in size, and we were able to tackle the whole thing on a single full charge. So let's talk about the battery system. This mower is powered by a single brushless motor, and the blade itself is directly powered by the motor, so there's no changing of belts or anything like that. The mower plugs in using the included cable via a standard 110 volt outlet, and it takes about four hours to fully charge. What's cool about it is that you can actually still operate the mower at a partial charge, without needing to fully charge the unit before operating it. So if you just need to do a quick trim or something, you can still use it before it's fully charged. It's really simple to see what the charge on the unit is with the built-in battery indicator next to the mower start button. Probably the most noticeable difference between the CC30E and a standard gas mower is the sound. In fact, when you get on the unit and start it by depressing the brake, turning the key, and holding the start button, it doesn't make a sound beyond a beep. The mower operates virtually silent without the blade engaged, and even when the blade is engaged, it's substantially less noisy, which means you can operate early in the morning or later in the evening without disturbing your neighbors. For ease of use, this mower is about as user-friendly as it gets. Once you've gotten accustomed to how to start it and some of the built-in safety features, including the operator presence safety, which basically just means it shuts off when you get off of it, it's one of the most straightforward mowers I've ever used. There's not a lot of learning curve involved in it. You control the throttle forward and backward via the pedal on the driver's right side and the brake with the pedal on the driver's left side. To engage the blade going forward, you hold the yellow button for one second and you engage the blade going backwards by holding the orange button for three seconds. There's a parking brake switch and even cruise control for those longer straight runs if you wanna use it. For cutting height, you have five cut heights ranging from an inch and a half to four inches that are easily adjustable using the lever on the driver's right side, and you have a cutting area of 30 inches. The mower comes fully assembled and ready to go out of the box once it's been charged fully, with the only assembly being whether you'd like to utilize the mulching and bagging feature or the side discharge attachment for the mower deck. Overall, I really like this mower. I think it's pretty obvious that the future of power tools and yard equipment is headed towards all electric, and this mower proves that you can have the power and performance of a gas machine in an electric mower with much less maintenance. This mower doesn't need any oil changes, filter changes, or spark plug changes, so as long as you keep the blade sharp and you keep it charged, you're good to go. I think this mower would be a great tool for the average homeowner with a small to medium sized lot that is relatively flat. My only gripes with it is that I think if you had a larger or bumpy lawn, having a suspension system would be a nice addition, and also if you have a yard that's relatively wide open, so like an acre plus, I think you probably want something with a wider cutting deck to make cutting a bit faster. As is, I think my brother's lawn is right about the upper end of the size lot for this model, which is why I wanted to test it out at the higher end, but it was a more than capable machine to handle it. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any further questions about this mower, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. Or you can always visit the Cub Cadet website at cubcadet.com. I also wanted to say a quick thank you to Cub Cadet for sending over this lawnmower for me to test out. And if you guys are in the market for something similar, I highly recommend you check out the CC30E before you pull the trigger on buying something. You can't beat the no maintenance aspect of an electric mower and it's really cool to finally see a riding mower that is capable of actually replacing the need for a gas mower. If you guys are new to the channel, I'd love for you to consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you're alerted when I upload new content. And if you'd like to check out more of my outdoor home improvement and garden projects, please make sure you visit my website at mrfixitdiy.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.